We're just waking up to the extreme intelligence of the animal that's number nine in the countdown. Honeybees are smart, even though they've got a brain the size of a pinhead. We think we're clever because we invented languages to communicate. Well, bees are number nine in the countdown because they've also invented a way of talking to each other about food. When a scout bee finds a particularly good food source, it races back to the hive with the news. The trouble is bees can't speak, and in the darkness of the hive, they can't see either. That's why they've come up with a language of their own, and the language is dance. Imagine if we had to communicate like the honeybee. First of all, the scout bee has to attract the attention of her sisters. When the workers have gathered, she tells them there's food nearby with a little bee boogie. Scientists call this repeated pattern of movements the round dance. But if the food's a long way off, she's able to tell her sisters the exact location by breaking out the waggle dance. The angle of her waggle on the hive's dance floor corresponds to the angle between her food source and the sun. And the number of times she shakes her booty indicates just how far away the food is. All that remains is to show her sisters just what kind of food they're looking for. Hopefully, the waggle dance will not be coming to a nightclub near you. Scientists are seldom seen in nightclubs either, which has left them lots of time to decode the incredible dance of the honeybee. And they've even had time to invent a way to talk to bees in their own language. Robo-bee may look a little primitive. But this mechanical bee dances beautifully, especially for a bug with no legs. But scientists discovered that the most important part of RoboBee is the nozzle that delivers a sample of nectar. Bees got very angry very quickly at any imposter that didn't throw up during the dance routine. Thanks to the work of scientists and RoboBee, we're just starting to appreciate the incredible intelligence of the brainiest bugs in the countdown. But traditional beekeepers have known for a long time that bees are clever. In fact, there was one extreme case where bees seem to understand our language. The story begins in 1961 at the funeral of beekeeper Sam Rogers from the tiny English village of Middle. When he died, his daughter followed the ancient tradition and went around all of Sam's hives telling the bees that their master had passed away. A memorial service for Sam was held the following Sunday, but there were some surprise guests. Sam's bees left their hives and traveled straight as an arrow across the fields to swarm all over their master's grave. This apparent demonstration of devotion became world famous and forced people to take a new look at these brainy bugs. <laughs> 